And many people enjoyed that hot weather today at the 58th annual Pancake Breakfast Fundraiser for Honey Run Covered Bridge. Action News Now reporter Margot Rowe shows us what the money raised today will go towards. People packed Honey Run Bridge Park for its annual fundraiser to raise money to rebuild the bridge. The smell of pancakes and sausages greeted people as they lined up for breakfast. The Honey Run Covered Bridge Association says the money from this event will go towards the rebuilding of the bridge as well as park maintenance. First of all, it's an opportunity for citizens to support the rebuild of the covered bridge. You know, it, it's, we're coming up on the fifth anniversary of the campfire and it's been a real tragedy and a lot of outpouring of support from the whole area to rebuild the bridge and today's a manifestation of that. About 40 volunteers from the North Valley Realtors Association came out to help. We have people cooking, people refilling syrup and butter, people serving food, a uh, drink station, um, and then help us set up and clean up too. The HRCBA has been fundraising to rebuild for a few years now and even requested a loan from the Butte County Board of Supervisors earlier this year. The loan wasn't approved. Their association is still waiting to receive funding from the Fires Victim Trust Settlement. While people were happy with the event, one woman said she was bummed the event couldn't be more celebratory. We have an incredible community that really loves and cherishes this bridge, so I'm not at all surprised that there's a fantastic turnout. This is always a fun event, um, but I was really hoping that this year's would be a celebration of, hey, we got all this funding to rebuild. The association still needs about $2.2 million for the project. In Chico, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. The HRCBA filed for over $3 million for the Fire Victims Trust settlement and is currently in phase two of the rebuilding of the bridge. For more information on how to help the association reach its goal, visit our website under news links.